Hey everybody, it's Darcy and I'm the Bad Artist from London, Ontario. Today we're talking about the red-capped woodpecker. Hope you're having a great day and tomorrow is Father's Day. So wish your dad a happy Father's Day. And if you're not watching this video the day before Father's Day, then phone him and say hi. Here we go. Take care. So we're sitting here talking about the red-capped woodpecker. Now, just so you know, for clarification, they are also known as the red-hooded woodpecker and even the red-crowned woodpecker, but I'm just going to refer to it as the red-capped woodpecker. Now, the most interesting thing, I was really, really kind of excited when I heard this. So in Canada, um, there are 600 specific areas the government has figured out to track birds by their habitat. This uh, bird is listed as a near-threatened species. Uh, so basically it's, it's, it could be better, uh, there's still a fair number around, but of the 600 of these designated areas, this woodpecker is actually only in seven. So very, very small area in Canada. But what I found out, and this is the neat part, I swear I've heard these things. And it turns out that London, Ontario, where I live, is actually one of the seven areas that these birds habitat. So that, to me, was really kind of neat. I'm actually going to try and see if I can see them more, maybe walk around with some binoculars or something like that. Now, I'm just going to open my door up and see if I can have one fly in here, see if they'll do some noises for us. Okay, here it comes here. We'll just... There he is. Yeah. He's on my kitchen counter. Just sort of looking around, picking at some bread. All right, shoo. Shoo, I'm doing a video. Don't, don't talk back to me. Get out. Get out. Thank you. Sorry about that. So anyway, these birds, quite a big bird. They uh, are about 25 centimeters long. Wingspan is up to 43 centimeters. That's pretty significant for a bird like this. They are typical of most birds in Canada where they sort of uh, winter in the South Mexico and uh, lower states, and then they fly back here in the summer. They tend to fly around to catch insects in the air, and then, but they also forage on the trees or gather nuts and stuff like that. They have this very pronounced uh, beak, which is used for doing what woodpeckers do, is poking holes in the wood and then uh, digging out the bugs inside it. Now these birds too, you'll notice I'm working on it right now, they have a very, the males have a very distinctive feather pattern of black and white feathers. It's so distinctive, and that's the reason why I want to try to paint this one, it's so distinctive that they're actually called flying checkerboards as a... Uh, a characteristic of them. The females tend to have uh, much more red feathers. They, both sexes do have red feathers on their head, but the females definitely have way more of this beautiful dark crimson red colored feathers on their head. There's uh, some conservation areas um, set up for these birds just to make sure that they uh, they don't go extinct. Uh, the populations have been declining for about the last 40 years or so. But um, overall, they're pretty good. They have a, the other distinction, too, in 1996, I believe it was, they had their own postage stamp. And it went out of production, and it was actually so popular, this is a U.S. postage stamp, that they brought it back again for another five or six years. And finally, it was uh, gone in 2004. So, other than that, um, finishing this up, I really enjoyed this one. I'm, again, I'm fascinated to find out it's right in my backyard. Uh, there it is there. I decided to, uh, they like pine trees, so I photoshopped it on a pine tree there. Uh, if you like stuff like this, please like and subscribe. I've had some fun new subscribers lately. Uh, if you're looking for something for me to try and paint, send me a message. Um, I do have a couple on the go right now, but I'd love to hear from you. And tomorrow is Father's Day. Um, so wish your dad a happy Father's Day, and uh, thanks very much. Take care.